guys welcome back to my channel my name is nicole and today i wanted to make a video pretty much all that i feed my guinea pigs and that's about it um so this is all that my guinea pigs get every day this is their foundation for their feeding um this is a low calcium diet so if you guys if your guinea pigs are prone to bladder stones calcium buildups this would be a great diet for them as all of these are very low in calcium and high in vitamin c so let's get started with the most important one which would be the green bell pepper um i usually feed my guinea pigs about half of each section so half i have two guinea pigs and they love the green bell pepper um, when I first got them, they had a lot of calcium buildup because the shelter didn't really feed them the proper food. And now they have no calcium buildup because of this. And it's also a good way to ensure your guinea pigs get the vitamin C for the day. Next is this uh, cucumber. Now, cucumbers have no nutritional value, but they are very high in water content. So if you guys are taking your guinea pig to um, to a warm climate or outside or indoors somewhere where there's a lot of sun um they love these that's all of my guinea pigs love them so next is a lettuce and this is green leaf lettuce there is also red leaf and romaine i would never recommend feeding your guinea pigs iceberg lettuce as it has no nutritional value and it's really high in calcium so i always feed my guinea pigs at least one green leaf lettuce and they love it now here is some small um, cherry tomatoes. Usually, if it's something like this big, I usually always cut it in half. But if it's like a little bit small, you should just give it to them. Make sure you don't overfeed your guinea pigs with tomatoes as they can get um, sores in their mouth because tomatoes are acidic. But my guinea pigs love them. That's literally the first thing they eat. And so, yeah. So another overview of everything I feed them. Um, you guys absolutely do not have to follow this. I just really recommend this diet, especially for new guinea pigs that are being rescued from shelters. So you guys can make sure that they stop getting that calcium buildup. And yeah, comment, like, and subscribe and let me know what you guys feed your guinea pigs with. Um, and yeah, see ya.